Hey lovelies! Welcome to my channel Love of Beauty 2. I'm new here and my name is Karen. So welcome to 2021. So here I am. I've just done this new Valentine's Day stay at home look. If you would like to see how I've created it, please keep watching. Let's start with just priming our lips and moisturising it. Next, I'm going to use the eyeshadow primer portion by Urban Decay. Um, this is my go-to all the time. Don't use a lot because my eyelids are really oily, so I just keep to the bare minimum. Okay, next we're gonna take the Head of Beauty uh, Primer Water Jelly. things that I really use especially for my eyes I'm just gonna sweep this colour this shade here at the bottom um, throughout my eyelids Blend it out again. 
Now I'm going to take a diffuse crease brush. Maybe that one. And just go into the outer corner of my eyelid. Take the blending brush, just blend it all in. Then I'm going to take this one and put it on my eyelid. This one. Dabbing it on to get the greyish hue. And for the other side, and I'm going to take the flat brush and I'm going to take this darkish. Pink shade, this darkish pink shade, and put it right here, just in the middle. I'm going to take a brown, um, perhaps a mixture of this brown and this brown. It looks a bit purple on the camera, but it's brown, that one. It's a glittery brown. So I'm going to take the matte brown and put it right in the corner. Blend it out. The same with the other side. So this is a matte brown. Then I'm going to take this one, which is a lighter pink with some pearlescence to it, and put it in the 
in the corners. Then I will use this shade here. Just to brighten up the top lid. Because it looks too brown to me. So what we have is, we have on the lid all pearlescence eyeshadows and on the crease and just on the eyebrow bone, um, all the mattes. Then we add a bit of Fenty eyeliner. So I'm going to comb through my eyebrows and I'm just going to do them with a very old pencil that I've used for so long. You can see how small it is. <laughs>
Always tidy it up when we put a foundation on. Because normally do my eyebrows when I do my foundation. This is the first time I'm using Huda Beauty Fell Filter High Coverage Cream Foundation in toasted coconut. The number is 240N. This is the old one, not the new one, because um, I had bought this one some time ago and I did not use it until now. This is the first time I'm going to try it on and after I finish this, I'm going to try the other one that um, Huda Beauty just brought out and I can't wait to try that one as well. Is this my shade? 
Dun, no. Oh my god, it smells nice. <laughs> into the foundation to set it properly for a very, very long time. So I use the All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray by Urban Decay um, and then I blend it with a, um, a foundation blending sponge. Yeah, it's a lot. So then I go in with my Beauty Blender which is from Primark. Okay, it's all really set. that you can wait to spray on. Feels like I need to blend it straight away after applying. I'm putting powder or translucent powder for me 
um, it doesn't work too well because when I do shifts, well I do shifts and when I do them it's uh, 12 hours and it has to last for over 12 hours because I travel to work and back from work and it's just one of those things that I want to last for as long as it can really before it oxidizes so that's what I don't try not to put any powders under my eyes I'm going to take the same terracotta shade and just go over it under my eyes with a pencil brush clean brush and then gonna blend it. Then I'm gonna take the dark brown matte, not the glittery one, which I thought I was gonna use but I'm not going to and I'll put that right in the corner here. Other outer corner of the other eye. Very light pink pearlescent and put it in the inner corner of my eye. Then I will take a um, barium red lip liner and do my waterline With this whole eye pinkish, reddish, brownish colours, I like to add something totally different out of whack. So, what I tend to do is I tend to put a brown or a yellow or something totally different. So, what I'm doing is I'm mixing a brown glitter and a white glitter for the corners of my eyes just to brighten it up and give it pretty so the white looks too white that's why what I do is I always go in with the brown a light brown makes it look a tiny bit yellowy but not too yellow, let yellowy if you like. Then just clean it up because if you look at it, we just had nothing going on, like it was all wiped out. So what we want to do now is we want to not redo it because I normally put on my foundation and then do my eyebrows but for this tutorial I thought I'd focus on the eyes so I, I think we need to revamp our eyebrows if you like. So I'm going to just brush it up again. So we have an idea of what's going on. Take this brush to clean it up. Clean it up a little bit. And 
then just go over it again so we have a clean line. To set my brows, what I do when I set my brows, I like to use hair gels because they're pretty cool. I mean, you don't have to spend a lot of money, um, and yet you get to use like a load. But I use tiny bits, like that much. And um, that's what I'm using is just a normal gel with like extra strength to it. So I take my brush and I just rub through it. And then I use it on my eyebrows, just gently so we don't take off the eyeshadow, we don't take off anything else. We put on there, so we just brush it all out and make it straight. So, once it dries, what I normally like to do is just pull it down because I don't like it looking like a hair sprayed sort of. So we'll leave it to set. In the meantime, what we do is we'll do our eyelashes. So curl it up, curl it up. Um, and I'm using Too Faced Dam Girl. the lower lashes as well. What I'm now going to do is just put some highlighter in here and in here. I'm using the Hourglass Probe Light. breakout on my jawline what I normally tend to do is use my Kat Von D powder and um, my color is medium 150 um, so just take a smaller brush not a massive one then dip it into it and just dab on my spots where discoloration. I don't go everywhere, but just the areas that I need concentration. I've got this discoloration here and I've got a spot on my jawline here a little bit. You can see it. So just a tiny bit and then just do the brush with the remaining powder foundation and just go over all the areas just to 
give it a light brush through if you like. Now what I normally do is use my powder blush but today I'm not going to use my powder blush I'm only going to use my cream blush. So the way I use my cream blush is just with my beauty blender but to start with is Sleek. Um, this is called California. You got Newport Peach, The Surf and OC. Uh, those are the three shades and it's intensely pigmented I must say. Um, you got those three shades. You got one is like a pearlescent pink, then you got coral pearlescent and you got a proper pink without any pearlescence to it. So what I intend to do is I take my foundation brush and I choose whichever one I want. Today I'm going to go with that one. So I'm just going to dab a little bit into it and just go on top the apples of my cheeks. Need a little bit more, take some more. I can still smell the bow filter foundation by Huda Beauty. It is such a beautiful smell, I can't explain it. So I just take my beauty blender and I just dab it just to blend it out. Not too much, just a little bit. So, basically, I don't like a lot of blush, I just like a tad bit. So, it's not even a tad bit, it's blended out by the blended, uh, blender, blending sponge. So, I'm going to go in again. Just blend it out a little bit more. Blend it out again. So it's not too much. It's okay, so now it's more or less what I really want. So it's not too much. Now I will go in with my P. Louise. I love this thing. It's I don't know, it's for the eyes. I had originally bought it for the eyes, but um, I feel like it just was a different color for my eyes. So I'm using it for my contouring now. So go straight down, straight down again. Um, this what I like to do is just blend it out with my sponge a little bit so it's not so harsh and with the same brush what I do because I've still got it in there I just try and draw a line maybe here and a line here. So I wash it all off from the brush as such. And the rest of it, I try and contour my nose. I 
this is all blended with cream stuff. I take the same blending sponge and I try and blend it all out. contoured but not completely because it's mild. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my contour powder from Milani um, with an angle brush. This is a mild contour powder. Initially, I bought it for the foundation powder, but it turned out a little bit darker for me, so I just started using it as a contour powder, which is perfect. Next, I'm going to use my highlighter. I'm going to use my highlighter with a clean brush, with a fluffy brush, really, because. much of a highlight, just that, you know, just a little bit of a glisten, not too much. Just go over my cupid's bow just to give it that little shine. It looks like my lips are dry again, so I'm gonna moisturize it with this pretty little thing. What I didn't quickly do is because it's wet, that's the 
and the tongue flat. The same eyeliner, which um, the lip liner which I use for my eyes, I'm going to go in on the edges. don't need to be neat because it all blends in eventually. Add a bit more here, here. If you like, take another brush and clean it up. Then I will take my setting spray all over again and spray it all over me. And this is the final look. If you like to watch more of this, please like and subscribe down here. Thank you.